Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. In today's video, we'll be interacting with mentors, and I got a lot of requests from students how mentor sessions are work, how they clear our doubts. So in this video, we'll be cover all the points here. So first of all, I'm working in TCS and I'm a non-IT background, basically electrical background, and I'm upskilling in Scala for better placement. So in this video, I have asked so many doubts, whatever in my mind, I asked with my mentor and how they resolve my doubts, you can check it out. Two years of experience uh, in uh, support project. Uh, can I, uh, if uh, I go for interview uh, in LD1 or in e can I say uh, I work on a development project? Um, so you can always tell your past experience, okay? Uh, so that is always fine. But uh, more important to that is how your interviews goes, will matter a lot, more than your experience. It will be a good part for you, I'll tell you why. Let's say someone is coming from a developer experience. Okay. okay. He also has to he or she also has to clear the same interview questions. And you also have to clear the same interview questions. Despite the fact that you are not from a software development background. Okay. So it's a first point for you. Okay, can I uh, say the two things in terms of Some amount of object programming, programming knowledge, okay, and database knowledge, DBMS knowledge. So that will be more and more enough. Some concept of networking, yeah, that will be. So uh, I'm targeting into Google means uh, top based company. So what was the most uh, wanted skill uh, I want to learn? Data success and algorithm. DSO. Okay, okay. That will be almost around 80% of your interview or higher. Or any, uh, any other technology? No, focus on this only. Then you can focus on 20%, you can focus on OOPs, DBMS, and networking. I think uh, it will be taught uh, in, uh, in Taylor, something like that. Yes, it will be taught. And uh, even if you don't see, you can always refer to the online, uh, like online uh, resources available as well. Say just have some patience in the process. Okay. And as much you can do, time you can devote. Okay. That you should do. Okay. It's, it will take you some time to reach that heights, but definitely it's achievable if you uh, determine hard. Okay. Next, uh, what is the minimum grade uh, to get job? Means, uh, uh, is it uh, five to six months or more than that? So it depends upon how much you are willing to dedicate, right? Okay. So uh, ideally, it should not take you more than a year if you ask consistent enough. Okay. Yeah, if I completed uh, the DSA and algorithm, then uh, I want to apply job or uh, to complete other models uh, as like LLD, HLD. No, no, you can start with different data subjects only. So once DSA is completed, um, it's not that DSA course is completed, I would say it's like when you start feeling confident on solving questions. It can come before the post or after the post, but as soon as you start getting, let's say, 60 to 70 percent of the confidence in yourself, uh, that is the time you have to start applying for the interviews. You can start with smaller companies first, uh, so that you get a, uh, you get some experience as well, and then you can target to companies as well. Can you share your experience uh, uh, regarding your interview experience in Amazon? Uh, so my interview experience was, let's say, as I told you, most of the questions were from the DSA. Okay, 80 80 percent. So 90% of the questions were from the data structures and algorithm. Uh, there were five rounds, four were on the data structures, one was management of behavioral or management of 
So and each uh, round is of almost one hour, okay? And they will be asking you two questions in each round, okay? And they will assess you on the competencies like how uh, well you code, okay? Is the solution optimized or not? Are you able to come up uh, to the solution uh, best case solution as well? Are you able to handle the best case? Solution? So these things also matter. Okay. Also, we need to prepare some leadership principle or. Um, so those, yes, you need to, but uh, yeah, you will have to need to go through that, so, but that will not take you more than 10 to 15 days. You can do it uh, when you start applying for interview. Is it uh, tailored for this pinup uh, to get a job as a uh, LD1 or anything? Uh, frankly, I would say yes, but uh, like I will not say it's subject to do. Uh, most things, but most theoretical things I and mean, uh, concept that you should understand will be taught in the screener itself. Okay? Okay. They will take care of that. But what you need to do is, uh, you need to practice from online platforms as well. For example, you can do lead code side by side. Hope you like this video. If you have any doubts or questions regarding uh, upskilling or scaler, you can reach me out. Thank you.